welcome to Smoky Goodness. Tonight, I'm going to try my hand, or at least make the attempt, to do about a three or four pound venison roast on the Weber using the Smokinator. Uh, in lieu of taking the tour out here at three o'clock in the morning, let's take you back 24 hours. Here's how we prepared this big old venison roast. First, we have a half a cup of soy sauce. followed by a half a cup of teriyaki sauce. And because venison is a very lean meat, there's virtually no fat in it. Uh, I'm using a, uh, an oil here. This is sesame oil. And man, does it smell good already. I just mix all this together. We'll place our venison roast into a plastic Ziploc type bag. I think this is a one gallon bag. Pour all of that marinade all over it. And Bambi is going into the refrigerator for about 24 hours. All right, 24 hours later, I'm gonna get the smokinator ready. You know all about this. I have my charcoal chimney upside down. Uh, the grate in the bottom of it becomes inverted this way. It concentrates all the coals in one area. It's a whole lot easier to light the coals, and it's a lot faster too. And here I'm pouring the coals into the uh, smokinator. Gonna add some water. And here's our venison roast. Kind of fell apart uh, during the marinating process. Could that be an indication of a nice, tender, juicy, moist venison roast a little later on this evening? This evening? This morning? We'll see. Gotta hit it with some uh, Knox Spice Yummy Chicken. It adds uh, a really earthy flavor to this uh, venison roast, as well as everything else it touches. It's really good stuff. If you haven't tried it, please, please do yourself a favor and try it. You'll love it. Time to get the venison on the grill. Yeah, we want a temperature really low. I want about, uh, actually about 200 to 250, right in that range. Very low. We're gonna be cooking this quite a long time. Okay, about 45 minutes has passed. I'm gonna add some water to the water pan, which is already about half uh, evaporated. I think hickory may be a little bit too strong for a venison roast, so here I'm using applewood chips. As the neighbors <laughs> are already at it. Okay, we're all set up. Really nothing left to do now but sit back and count the stars. Two hours has passed. Time for something I like to call the Tornado Alley Cheat. You've heard of the Texas Cheat. This is the Tornado Alley Cheat. Check this out. Okay, this shot's not framed very well. But uh, here I'm adding some condensed uh, cream of mushroom soup. About a quarter can. And to that, I'm adding some water. And we're gonna wrap it back up, throw it right back on the grill. I'm gonna crank up the temperature to probably about 300 degrees at this point. Get some of that uh, steam in action going on here. <laughs> I've got myself a little snack. <laughs> mm. Mm. This is good. This is gonna be good. Mm. And I'm looking.
looking for an internal temperature of about 145 to 150. That's just about medium rare, maybe a little bit more toward the uh, medium side than rare. Oh man, that smells good. Tastes pretty good. A little bit on the tough side though. It's good though. Mm, really good. Good stuff, Maynard.